All right, you guys. Spirit, this this reading is possibly going to be about some narcissists in your life you guys are dealing with. Right before I start this reading, Spirit was telling me someone heavily in denial or narcissism. So we'll see what that is. I feel like you're dealing with someone like that. Avoidance of the truth, Spirit says. Wow. What is the truth? The butterfly. Okay, they keep... This old school card is starting to come out. Replaying events in their head. Outdated thinking. Outdated thinking. Outdated conditioning. This is someone that... It's possibly narcissistic or in denial of some truth that you're dealing with that is stuck in a, a past phase, stuck in something outdated. They keep thinking the same stuff. They're stuck in the past or something. The butterfly. Evolving and growth. Next phase. Healing inner child. Releasing the past. Okay, they need to... They need to move on to the next phase in their life instead of just repeating the same cycle over and over and staying in denial or something or stuck. They need to evolve and transform and grow like you're doing. But for some reason, they can't do it. It's like stifled growth or something or immaturity. Childishness. Yeah, it's versus childishness. Irresponsibility. Wow. Lack of accountability. Some narcissist you're dealing with or someone heavily in denial. They're, yeah, they're wasting time, Spirit says. Look, wasting time, stuck, no changes, limited. Hmm. There's something that they need to do or change, and they're just wasting time. Spirit says they're just wasting time stalking you. They're wasting their time stalking a lot of you guys instead of getting their life together. That's what Spirit's telling me. Word for word. Okay, Spirit's telling me, like, basically, this is some narcissist that wanted you in bum energy, basically. They wanted you in the Five of Pentacles. What else? Yeah. Pluto, transformation. It's time for them to transform. They could be going through some kind of tragedy. Top of the deck is tragedy. Transformation. So maybe this is a narcissist fighting off their transformation. They're too busy focused on you. You already are going through your transformation. There's a butterfly there. You already are evolving, healing. Releasing a pass. They need to get their focus off of you and focus on themselves. Quit wasting time. Okay, Spirit's saying, like, they're looking at you like you're the problem. This is a narcissist that's looking at you like you're the problem. Three of Swords. Wow. First card out. Three of Swords. That's the truth. It's, it's, some, it's some painful truth. Someone needs to realize. They're hurt, heartbroken, could be crying. And sorrow. Some of you guys is going to rain in your area. Rain or thunderstorm. Cloudy. They're in that type of energy. A gloomy, cloudy, um, 
yeah, they're in that type of energy. It's like they know the truth or something like that. They know what they need to do. But it's like the truth breaks their heart. King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is something to do with responsibilities, work, job. Yeah, they don't want to take accountability, Spirit's telling me. Someone's heartbroken over a King of Pentacles, over a masculine. This could have something to do with someone heartbroken or hurt over a masculine's money or something like that. Someone was expecting a masculine to take care of them or something or help them, help them financially, help them with some kind of duties, some kind of responsibilities. Yeah, someone's just stuck. Bear says they're blaming you. Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, tense energy here. They're feeling tense. They're they're feeling, um, oh, it's a masculine that's guarded towards someone. That's wasting time stuck. Some narcissist. So maybe this King of Pentacles could be you. You're blocking someone out. You're dealing with a narcissist and you're blocking them out. You're guarded towards them. You're suspicious of them. You're having to protect yourself. Maybe you're having to protect your money, your assets. Spirit's telling me something about sustainable. Something is sustainable. I feel like this is someone stalking you and like uh, real on edge and stuff and scared. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, there's somebody in this energy. You're able to be strong, stand on your own, two feet. You're a very strong person. Unfortunately, whoever you're dealing with is not like that. Hanged man. Okay, they're waiting or something. Someone's waiting. Maybe they're waiting for you. You're looking at whoever this is differently. There could be stuff that they're doing behind the scenes or stuff you're realizing or seeing about them in dreams. You already got enlightened on, on whoever that is. They could have been like a catalyst to your transformation. Or your growth it looks like it looks like something's been helping you evolve and grow mature you're in a very mature energy okay I'm hearing they don't know what to do without you spirit says they don't know what to do without you somebody don't know what to do without a king of Pentacles they feel like helpless powerless they're looking at you like um they need you to be like their their savior like that someone's looking at you like you're you're supposed to be their lord and savior or something they could be feeling like a victim or something you're not saving them anytime soon if ever whoever this does needs to learn to save themselves Four of Wands. This could be someone that uh, wants you to support them, wants you to take care of them. Could be something about a home. Could be something with kids. Could be something with a house, family, a group of people. There could be someone in this energy waiting for you to like uh, reconnect with them or uh, something like that. Five of Cups. Yeah, they're sad, depressed. Mm. 
you're you're having fun in life celebrating you could have a milestone coming up or a big event coming up a party a celebration coming up you could have your own family or your own kids or something with the four of wands someone is sad over you in the four of wands like celebrating or something or being happy, having a happy life, achieving things. This may be someone financially, you could be someone financially well off or you're, you're financially stable and comfortable, financially secure. Somebody's been for a long, long, long time wasting time stuck, not making no changes, waiting for you to be their their savior to rescue them or something they could want you to like martyr yourself whoever this is is like in a distressed energy it almost feels like a damsel in distress or something there's about to be a huge change a huge change or a huge ending that's going to lead to the four of wands There could be someone in this energy dealing with some bitter truth because I'm looking at this five of cups, three of swords. And what I'm getting intuitively is like, you see these cups spilled over. It's like, they're not enjoying the drink. They're not enjoying the wine. It's like, this could be someone that's been trying to cope using uh, substances or drinking or something. That's just not getting it anymore for them. They're trying to, they're trying to escape from their pain or the reality of something. Oh, yeah. Spirit says this, this is the sun reverse. Okay, Spirit wants me to read it like that. There's just someone sad, sad, unhappy. Feeling down. Yeah. There's a lot of negativity. They're they're depressed. Maybe they're stuck in a depression. Two swords. Okay, they're trying to blindfold you. They're trying to blindfold you. They're trying to confuse you about something. Okay, they're stuck at a stalemate or trying to keep you at, stuck at a stalemate. Spirit says they're trying to make sure you don't move forward with your life. Whoever this King of Pentacles energy is. Whoever they need to uh, support them or provide for them, take care of them or their money or something. They're trying to make sure you don't move on with your life. They want you blindfolded for some reason. Possibly they, they're trying to blindfold you to some kind of truth. They could have been trying to hide something from you, trying to hide the truth. Trying to have you in the dark. Magician. Eight of Swords, yeah. Okay, they're trying to do magic. They're trying to do magic, trying to control things, trying to direct your life. They're trying, what they're thinking about constantly is trying to, is figure out how to try to get you stuck and trapped with them. That's what they're doing behind the scenes. They want you stuck and trapped. They want you trapped with them stuck with them but you you're in the magician upright so like you got them blocked out and you're standing in your power and you're 
you're manifesting a completely different life or something else outside of them like you, the magic ain't working on you nothing that they're thinking about or trying to create is working on you and, th and because of that they feel stuck yeah they feel like a victim hanged man eight of swords they feel stuck and they feel like they aren't able to make their way out of a situation they feel like helpless they can't help themselves or something nine of swords six of pentacles yeah okay this is someone stressing they need your help all they're worrying about is like how they can get you to help them share your wealth with them share something with them they're having sleepless nights having insomnia yeah they are going through a tragedy they need finance this may be someone that needs a job or something or something to do with their job eight of pentacles something to do with their work they could also be worried because they see maybe you're helping other people or someone else or something in your life is balancing out some of you guys have blocked whoever this is out of your life cut them off or something yeah they're scared what else yeah something with their work something with their work their job number 34 ladder climbing towards success maybe maybe this is you climbing the ladder climbing towards success in your job and your work oh someone someone's going to be getting a new home new attitude you could be having a new home or you're getting ready to get a new home broom maybe you're cleaning a home take that where that resonates That could be someone that cleans. Their job is to clean or something. Egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work and ram. Wow, could be Aries. A stubborn, aggressive person. This person is stubborn. Whoever this is is very, very stubborn. Self-love is your superpower. Yeah. You're someone... This is about your self-love. This is about your self-worth. Magician. They see like you have all the power. That's what's scaring them. That's what's got them on edge and stuff. Tense. Paranoid. You possibly have them blocked out. Or you're blocking out their magic that they're trying to do. intimacy okay some of you guys this is someone that is um, yeah spirit says a great deal of stress they're dealing with a great deal of stress over something with intimacy or maybe your intimate life could be a relationship with the four of wands they could be stressed out over or a family dynamic or some some big event in your life a big milestone 
some of you guys are climbing towards success and celebrating that like maybe like a promotion or raise or a new position be ready to embrace a new chapter in your life you are ready for change yeah you're making a lot of changes whoever you're dealing with does not it seems like a lot of what they're doing is their focus is on trying to stop you from changing they're afraid someone's afraid you and I will be together until the universe dissolves okay so maybe you're with someone for some of you guys maybe you're committed to someone or in a relationship married to someone the king of pentacles you're possibly in a serious commitment serious intimate commitment with someone okay final message let's do two okay final messages here spirit balance symbol 36 number 36 love will find a way so you're balancing something in your life maybe you and a lover six of pentacles four of wands maybe that's what they're stressed out about sad about love will find a way yeah you're happy you're bringing heaven to earth number 11 okay final message Age of Earth. Yeah, this is new money. Good news with uh, money or promotion could be a new business venture, new job. Scholarly, <clears throat> excuse me, scholarly, dependable, patient, and successful. This could be someone young. This could be someone young. This could be a child. Could be a fresh start with something with business or something good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging and a new area of study wow so maybe there's changes with your work job business or something like that or maybe a, a child could be your kids education schooling or maybe a new child some some new life experience or something there's lots of changes here in the material world either way all right i hope this helps i hope this resonates if it does please like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys later